It's 7.30 here in the Eagle 810 studio. Senior Airman Kellen Carr. And right now, I'm joined on the line by the United States Army Garrison Japan Commander Colonel Joy Carrera. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. How are you? You know what? I'm doing very well. Uh, how, how are you doing this past month and whatnot? Doing excellent. Uh, the weather's turning. Uh, it's a little colder, and I kind of like it warm all the time. But otherwise, awesome. I, I'm with you on that. I, I got to have it where I, I feel like I'm getting older now, and, and my body, you know, the cold mornings is like you wake up and you're a little sore, sore and stiff. Yeah. At least when you're warm, you're loose. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> well, ma'am, I understand you guys got you know, a lot going on around Camp Zama, and, including this new Commander's Hotline. What exactly is this? Yeah, I've got a brand new hotline. Um, it's in my headquarters, and it's a direct line to voice any concerns to to me and to our garrison and my garrison team. We want to use this hotline to make uh, the Camp Zama installations just a better place to live and work. We've got a lot of outlets and, and ways for folks to give us feedback, but this is just one other way to get directly to me. Uh, so our community members, anyone can, who's affiliated with Camp Zama and has something to say, can call me at 263-4144, or that's commercial, 046-407-4144. And you can leave a message. We don't have it manned 24-7, but uh, leave a message on that line, and I uh, will more than likely get back to you, or I'll have a subject matter expert who can best address your, your situation. And we'll post uh, pertinent like questions and answers that have to do for the whole community on our Garrison Facebook page under a brand-new Commanders and Command Sergeants Majors post. Uh, that we're setting up on, on Facebook. So any questions, comments, concerns are welcomed and will be answered. And we're even going to make this bilingual. Um, anyone, even our local national employees, are welcome to call and feel comfortable with, with speaking to us in Japanese. Um, and I'll have translators who will uh, take care of it on my end. So the hotline is going to start officially uh, with the Facebook uh, posts. Uh, around the middle of November, but community members can start calling us today. Again, that number is 263-4144 or commercial 046-407-4144. Ma'am, that is absolutely huge right there. I mean, that's pretty groundbreaking to have commander's hotline. They can actually call and, and voice their concerns to you, the commander. Wow. Yep. We'll see it. Bring it on. We'll see how many folks uh, want to use it. All right, ma'am. Well, in a couple of weeks, it's going to be American Education Week, and, and there's also going to be a conference. Can you talk to us about that? Yeah, November 17th through uh, November 21st is, is designated as American Education Week. Uh, so we're going to have a number of activities going on um, and, and recognize and, and do all we can do here at Camp Zama. Um, our Army community... Con continuing Education uh, Services Center will join forces with educators from across the country to, to come up with ways to strengthen uh, their resolve in providing the best quality education for our soldiers. And this year with the Army's theme of Army Continuing Education, Army Strong, Education Stronger. Uh, so this year's Education Week will include a special observance of the Education Support Professionals Day on the 19th of November. And this conference will be held at our Camp Zama Education Center on the 19th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And, and there, uh, there'll be topics, great topics of discussion uh, to include uh, information on post 9-11 GI Bill benefits, uh, VA benefits, and they're hoping to have a VA representative there. Uh, CLEP and DSST testing opportunities, USA Jobs and how to get into that system, spiritual orientation, Go Army Ed workshops, on-base graduate programs that Camp Zama has to offer, and, and just so much more and whatever the, uh, the community wants to, uh, to know about. And again, folks, that's for Army Education Week, November 17th through the 21st. And, uh, ma'am, since we do this interview just once a month, you know, usually get a, a bunch of hot, hot topics going on throughout the month. And uh, what are some of the November hot topics? Yep, I, I typically talk, talk about the, the month's observance uh, that we do under our Equal Employment Opportunity Program, uh, an equal, uh, uh, our EO program. But uh, this month, it's, na it's the National American Indian Heritage Month. 
And we're going to do that observance on the 13th of November, uh, starting at 2 p.m. in the afternoon, 1400, at the Camp Thelma Community Activity Center. Um, this, this event is going to be hosted by our headquarters company of the U.S. Army Japan headquarters, U.S. Army Japan, uh, to celebrate and recognize the accomplishments and contributions that our American Indians have made to our Army throughout history. And I got a little little spoiler, I got a little inside <laughs> on what's going on with this observance, and they are really excited. They're going to put um, four, four soldiers really in costume to role play uh, the, the four great Americans, Native Americans, who have contributed uh, to our military throughout history. So I know they've got a Medal of Honor winner, and I think uh, someone who fought at Iwo Jima. So really excited about this, uh, this observance. Absolutely. And uh, also, you know, Christmas right around the corner. Do you guys have anything going on for that? Yes, uh, kind of special. Of course, we've got so many uh, different things and a lot of different charity events in and around Christmas because it's the time of giving um, and giving back to the community. So this year's Operation Christmas Child, um, it's, a, it's a program that we do to come up with gift boxes to give to the needy. And this year, the boxes will be taken to Sendai and dis distributed to the flood victims of the Philippines, the typhoon and um, tsunami through the Philippines. So uh, Camp Zama Religious Education Center, our building 278, is the collection point for any donations. And our Religious edu Education Center will host a packing party on the 9th of November from 1 to 4.30. We're looking for volunteers to come out on the 9th of November to, uh, to, to pack up those boxes and prepare them for shipping. All right, folks. And again, you said all donations received by November the 9th? That's correct. All right. Well, make sure you get those in for Operation, Operation Christmas Child. And uh, also, this is the time of the year where people got to be focusing on flu vaccinations. Oh, yes. A lot of people dread it, but hey, it's that thing we do every year, and it keeps us uh, up to date and and safe from that latest uh, that latest virus that's going around. So everyone in our community is invited to visit uh, the Sam's Health Health Clinic uh, here on Camp Sama to re receive their flu shot or the mist. And the hours of the immunization clinic are Monday and Wednesday, Monday through Wednesday, and Fridays from 8 to 11 a.m. and from 1 to 3.45 p.m. And on Thursdays, they'll be open for this service uh, uh, from 1 to 2.45 in the afternoon. So it's flu season. you got to protect yourself and everyone else. Absolutely. And I actually keep getting an email about mine. I need to go get my flu shot, too. So <sighs> my chief comes get, getting on to me. All right. And uh, just kind of recap everything that we uh, talked about. Again, the commander's hotline, ma'am. Can you talk to us about that again? Give that yep. number again. That commander's hotline, it's that direct line to, to me. And that is 263-4144 or commercial 046-407-4144. And also, folks, don't forget that November 17th through the 21st is American Education Week. That's right. Yep. And we'll uh, have a lot of topics of discussion to include uh, to, to take care of everyone's educational needs. Uh, yes, yes, ma'am. And also the hot topics, National American Heritage Month, um, Na Native American Indian Heritage Month. Um, you know, the observance will be November the 13th. And then Operation Christmas Child, the deadline for your donation is November the 9th as well as flu vaccinations are available now at the Camp Zama Health Clinic. Did I get all that right? You did it. All right, ma'am. got it. Well, is there anything else that you'd like to add? Uh, well, you know, fall's here. We love the fall. Beautiful colors outside. The intermittent heating and cooling season is still in effect here on Camp Zama and our Sagamahara uh, installations. So, uh, you know, it's that time to just remember, especially for our youngsters out there, uh, remember to dress warmly while they're out and enjoying the beautiful country. It's, there's uh, so much to do here through this season as well uh, at Camp Sama, despite the, you know, it getting cold out. Take advantage of all our MWR outdoor recreational trips, uh, like this month, um, and I don't have the date on it, but one thing that comes to mind is that flying squirrel watching trip. 
<laughs> trips like that are just unique. You'll never get it when you go back to the States. So take advantage of our outdoor rec trips. Um, we've also got uh, upcoming hiking and sightseeing trips. So as always, we encourage the community to enjoy this community and do it safely. Yes, ma'am. The United States Army Garrison Japan Commander Colonel Joy Carrera. Thank you so much for joining us uh, this, this morning, and uh, we look forward to doing it again next month. Great. Have a great day. It's yeah. a great November. Yes, ma'am. I, I understand you're a big uh, Jilly, Billy Joel fan. I am. All right. Well, here's some uh, Billy Joel for you. But Thanks I, for doing that. Not a problem, man. I, ma'am, I go to extremes. All right. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs>